Hey everybody, in this video, we're going to be talking about the quotient rule for derivatives. Here's the big question. If y equals f of x divided by g of x, what's the derivative? Is it f prime of x over g prime of x? No, 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 no. This is super wrong. If y equals f of x over g of x, y prime equals g of x f prime of x minus f of x g prime of x all over g of x squared. An easy way to remember this is by using this phrase, low d high minus high d low over the square of low we go. Repeat it to yourself a few times. Low d high minus high d low over the square of low we go. But where does this come from? As it turns out, the quotient rule is really just the product rule in disguise. Here's what I mean. We can think of the original function f of x over g of x as f of x times g of x to the minus one power. Then we can find the derivative of the product using the product rule, left d right plus right d left. That would give us f of x times negative one g of x to the minus two times g prime of x by the chain rule plus g of x to the minus one times f prime of x. Take a moment and convince yourself that this is the derivative from the product rule. A lot of students forget that you need to use the chain rule when taking the derivative of g of x to the minus one. Then we can simplify the algebra by moving the terms with the negative exponents to the denominator. On the right, you can see that we have a g of x in the denominator, but on the left, we have g of x squared in the denominator. So we're gonna multiply the right term by g of x over g of x. Now we have common denominators, so we can combine the terms. If we rearrange, we're gonna get g of x f prime of x minus f of x g prime of x over g of x squared. That's low d high minus high d low over the square of low we go. And that's the quotient rule. Let's do an example. Suppose y equals 2x over x squared minus 1, and we want the derivative. All we need to do is follow the pattern. We're going to take the low function times the derivative of the high function, minus the high function times the derivative of the low function, all over the square of the low function. This is technically correct, so we could stop here, but let's clean this up a bit. By simplifying the numerator, we get 2x squared plus 2 minus 4x squared. And this further simplifies to negative 2x squared plus 2. We can even go one step further by factoring out a negative 2 from the numerator. Although simplification is not always necessary, it's a good idea to be flexible because sometimes if you're taking a calculus exam, you might find the derivative of a function using the quotient rule, and you might need to simplify it to another form. Okay, let's do another example. Suppose y equals the quantity of one plus x squared divided by one minus x squared all to the 11th power. Show that the derivative of this function is 44x times the quantity of one plus x squared to the 10th power all over the quantity of one minus x squared to the 12th power. The first thing to notice here is that we have an outside and an inside function. This means we need to use the chain rule. So the first part of the derivative is 11 times the quantity of one plus x squared over one minus x squared to the 10th power. Now we multiply by the derivative of that inside function but you'll see that inside function is a quotient, so we have to use the quotient rule. So we're gonna follow the pattern, low d high minus high d low over the square of low we go. That gives us the quantity of one minus x squared times two x minus the quantity of one plus x squared times negative two x all over the quantity of one minus x squared squared. This is the correct derivative. However, it's not in the final form that we want, so we need to use some algebra here. By expanding and simplifying, we see that the 2x cubed terms cancel out. That leaves us with 4x. So the derivative is now 11 times the quantity of 1 plus x squared to the 10th times 4x divided by the quantity of 1 minus x squared to the 12th. This is getting closer to the form that we want. All we need to do now is multiply the 4x times 11 
and that gives us the 44x. And now we have our derivative in the final form that was originally asked for. We got it! So let's review. When you have a quotient of functions and you need the derivative, you must use the quotient rule, which is low d high minus high d low over the square of low we go. If you remember the rhyme, you'll always get the quotient rule correct. Be aware of a common mistake that students make, which is accidentally switching the top terms. What I mean is students will sometimes do high d low minus low d high, and that's just wrong. So please remember the correct way, low d high minus high d low over the square of low we go. And that's how you rock calculus.